How have foreign stocks done in the past several years? That's one of the uh, more interesting phenomena of, of the recent investment history. Uh, since the nadir of the subprime crisis back in February of 2009, U.S. stocks have substantially outperformed their foreign counterparts uh, to the order of several percent a year. Consequently, a lot of folks have discounted foreign stocks as a viable investment alternative. What's the rationale behind foreign investing? Well, most folks are aware that uh, there's a lot of different industries out there in different countries, and that's kind of important. Industry weighting is a key diversification factor in, in any investment strategy. The industry weightings in countries like Germany or Japan are going to be substantially different from that in the United States. So you can get a better and more diverse exposure to a wider range of companies by investing overseas. So if we take a longer view of foreign investing, it's actually done quite well. It's been a good diversifier. And if you go back to 1970 and you add retrospectively a foreign investment mix to your core U.S. holdings, you will find that risk goes down and the, the returns on the stock stay roughly the same. So overall, it's a better investment experience. How do the valuations of foreign stocks compare with U.S. equities? There's a, frankly a big disconnect out there right now. In the case of foreign stocks vis-a-vis -vis U.S. stocks, this a pretty substantial gap. Uh, to give you an idea, the cyclically adjusted price earnings ratio, which is a commonly accepted uh, metric of value, is at about 29 for the United States, which is well above their historical averages. Uh, conversely, in foreign markets, the, uh, that same cyclically adjusted price earnings multiple is about 15, which is at or below their historical averages. I think foreign stocks have more upside than their American counterparts. How can someone invest in foreign stocks? But over these last 20 years, the evolution of exchange-traded funds has been a real game-changer. There's about uh, 8 or 10 really good exchange-traded funds out there right now that any individual can buy on any brokerage platform that basically provide an immediate and highly diversified exposure to foreign markets. Uh, they all have management fees of under 15 basis points.